Hello and welcome to this video about stem cells. To start off with our discussion of stem cells then we need to think about um, what happens at the start of life at fertilisation. And in the fertilisation process the gametes will meet and the nuclei of those gametes will fuse. So you have a sperm cell and an egg cell for example fusing um, to form a fertilised egg cell with 46 chromosomes in. Now right at the beginning of life then, after that fertilisation process, the cells will begin to divide by mitosis. And in mitotic divisions you will end up with um, a doubling of the cells each time and the cells will be identical to each other. So this happens over the first few days after fertilisation we're getting mitotic divisions and cells dividing until you get a bundle of cells which you then call an embryo. And really importantly these cells in the embryo at this stage we call stem cells. We call them undifferentiated cells and this is important because this means that these cells have the potential to become any type of cell. That word undifferentiated here means that they're not specialised. At this stage they're not necessarily a muscle cell, a nerve cell. They can become any particular cell. They've not been switched on yet and told which cell they are going to be. So all of these in here are stem cells. Soon after this stage, as the cell divisions occur, then you get a process that switches on, that switches on the cell and it will suddenly become differentiated. It will become a muscle cell or um, a blood cell or um, a, a rod cell in your eye or whatever it is. It will be told what it is going to become and you can't go back from that process. Once it has been determined what that cell is going to be, there is no going back. So this stage here, when they're undifferentiated, is really useful. So the idea of stem cell research comes from the idea that you can take a stem cell from the embryo at the very early stage of that cell division of life, and that then that stem cell can become anything you want. For example, a muscle cell. You could extract a stem cell to make it a nerve cell and switch it on and make it something in particular. And the reason this is exciting research is because of the idea that it could be used to treat things such as paralysis. So if you imagine having an embryo here where you remove the cell, imagine then switching that cell on to make a load of nerve cells which you could then implant into someone to treat their paralysis. Similarly, if you took stem cells to make muscle, took some more stem cells to make bone, um, took some more stem cells to make cartilage, or whatever you need, you could end up building a whole hand, for example, or a whole organ. And this is where the research is going along into developing organs and developing treatments um, using stem cells because at this stage they can turn into any type of cell. They are, I'll repeat it again, undifferentiated. This research then could save lives, Okay, it could save a lot of money if it is a permanent treatment for someone rather than them having to have continual treatment on the NHS. If stem cell treatment provided a permanent solution and that would save money. The disadvantages then, um, there is again an ethical debate because we're using embryos. Um, so just like embryo screening had that kind of ethical issue surrounding it, again by using embryos you are interfering with that beginning of life. You are um, perhaps discarding embryos if you're not using them anymore, which is perhaps um, considered to be destroying life and also you are interfering with those cells at that early form of life and taking them away from making life and instead 
um, using them to make a muscle cell or a bone or something like that. So there is that ethical debate again because it's embryos and often this research conflicts a lot with religious beliefs as well. There is a second place however that you can get stem cells from so as well as embryos you can also get stem cells from um, bone marrow as well so there's two places where you get the stem cells from either the embryos or the bone marrow and that can be taken from adults so inside your bone right in the middle if you'd cut a cross section through you'd see it you have cells in there which are stem cells they can go on to make other types of cells for example a lot of your red blood cells are made from stem cells in the bone marrow and research is going on recently to actually take out this adult bone marrow so it doesn't have that same ethical debate surrounding using embryos and there is also research to use the stem cells from bone marrow to provide similar treatments to try and differentiate those into particular cells although the embryo stem cells seem to be slightly better um, at being able to switch on to be different cells than the bone marrow that you find um, in adults but again if you need to address that ethical issue then using adult bone marrow might be a slightly better alternative for that respect now in animals then um, there are very few stem cells, so adult bone marrow is really the only place where you find those stem cells. The other cells are differentiated, so they know what they are and they can't go back from that. They can't suddenly change into a different type of cell or divide and make a different type of cell. If you're a bone cell or a skin cell or a receptor cell in the eye, whatever you are, you are differentiated, you're specialised and there's no going back. And this happens very soon after this embryo stage during that cell division. Um, for plants, however, many plants have the ability to differentiate throughout their lives. For example, here in these pots, they've just taken a leaf, put it into soil, and because some of the cells in this leaf are undifferentiated, they can change and divide into other cells, you can then grow root cells from this leaf. So different types of cells that are then dividing from these stem cells in the bottom of the leaf. And this is why you can take cuttings from plants quite easily. Obviously you can't cut off a piece of a human and grow the human again. You can't cut off someone's finger and plant it and grow it into a complete new human because our cells differentiated. But in plants, because you've got that undifferentiated cells, those stem cells, you can take cuttings um, and grow whole new plants from those. So that's a summary on stem cells in plants and animals. If you found that video useful, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.